welcome to Panther Profiles, where we interview the most interesting students, faculty, and staff on the campus of High Point University. I'm your host, Lene Frazier, and on today's show, we have Dr. Kim Titus, a professor whose outside activities are pretty extraordinary. <laughs> oh, so hi, Dr. Titus, how are, how are you? you? Doing? Thanks for being with me uh, sure here thing. today. Thank you. Um, so what is uh, your position here at High Point University? I am an assistant professor in mathematics. And how long have you been at High, High Point? Uh, this is my fifth year in mathematics. I was an adjunct previously for two years, actually teaching physics and astronomy. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So you kind of made the transition. Made a little bit of a transition. Ah, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, why High Point? Was it any particular reason or? I actually Excuse attended me. Stetson University mm -hmm. as an undergrad and um, replaced the trees around here with palm trees. And mm -hmm. you have Stetson as far as size, <laughs> as far as culture, Elizabethan architecture, et cetera. And it was definitely the type of place I wanted to land where I would get to know students well, have the interaction that you just don't have it at larger universities. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So uh, your extraordinary activities are actually your mime, right? Yes, I am. So how long mm -hmm. have you been miming? Um, I think I took my first mime class in May of 2000 mm -hmm. and did it sort of as, oh, here's an opportunity, why not? The instructor Actually, the instructors were a husband and wife team who had trained under Marcel Marceau. Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. they were fabulous, not just in their technique and their creativity, but also as far as their vision, mm -hmm. as far as how do you really use mime, you know, if you're doing it somewhat as an outreach, how is it appropriate, how is it not appropriate, and spent as much time talking about the use of it as well as the technique, which really just sort of caught my interest. So, oh, really? So yeah. how did you find the school? Did you? Um, it was a conference I went to, and then soon after I had a chance to go into Siberia with a team of people who had used, it was some mime, it was some drama, it was just sort of silent drama mm -hmm. at the time. They hadn't had a lot of training, knew I had, asked me to be a part of the team, and we put together um, several pieces that we used that once again went across the whole language barrier. We actually had some songs we translated into Russian that we had to sort of learn at least the meter of for the sake of miming to them. We were supposed to leave the Monday after 9-11, mm -hmm. which of course did not happen. We rescheduled, which gave us a whole other six months to actually prepare. So we ended up with this fabulous team of people who stayed together and actually formed a group, a group called Silent Praise. We're still sort of on again, off again, you know, as we have gigs or whatever, but that's how I got started. Cool. So. And uh, so who do you, uh, do you climb with? Mime. Do you mime with a group? Or I actually it? mime or clown mm -hmm. with a group from Florence Elementary. Mm -hmm. It's a fifth grade clown club where they're there for a year. We um, put together a show. We do mime, magic, dance. We go out into the community um, over my spring break. Mm -hmm. We're going to Haynes Inman, which is a school for special needs children. So we definitely see it as an outreach opportunity. We go to some street festivals, but we mainly reach um, people in retirement centers and places like that. Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Titus. Uh, stay with us. After the break, Dr. Titus is going to show us how to make some balloon animals. At High Point University, every student receives an extraordinary education in an inspiring environment with caring people. With rigorous academics and stellar faculty, students enjoy state-of-the-art facilities inside the classroom and across campus. In the last six years, the university has achieved high rankings and has tripled in enrollment and national stature. Our focus is on holistic education, on experiential learning, and on values-based living. That's High Point University. Extraordinary. Welcome back to Panther Profiles. Dr. Titus was just about to show us how to make balloon animals. So I see you've already blown one up. I've blown one up. And so I guess I should do the uh -huh. same, right? Go ahead okay. and do the same. Leave about an inch at the end. And before you tie it, let a little bit of air out just so it'll soften a little bit. Okay. Nothing worse than handing a kid a balloon animal and having it pop in their hand. Oh, I know, right? So, yeah. <laughs> if I don't. That's okay. <laughs> Drop everything. Is this good? Okay. Um, um, that'll work. Okay. That's just fine. Okay. And I'll do another one here for you. Okay. So most kids come and think, oh, I need a dog, I need a sword because they don't know what else they, or they'll ask you to make a rabbit or a race car or something that once again is sort of definitely 
more difficult. Mm -hmm. And how often um, do you teach, the, so you teach uh, the students at mm -hmm. school? And we teach the children and then they go, and actually we'll be at Chick-fil-A here in a few weeks uh -huh. for one of the school nights. We've been to CC's in the last month. Um, I'll let you hold on to that. Thanks. Um, for the sake of entertaining the guests, do mm -hmm. magic during balloon art. Oh, that. Awesome. Okay. okay. So we're gonna take this mm -hmm. and twist it so you make a loop. There you go. Okay. And then grab where your intersection of your loop is there and smash it. And then you're gonna twist. Okay, so go to the loop. She has it done. <laughs> okay, smash it this way. There you go. Okay. okay. Okay, and in the middle of the loop, go ahead and squeeze it and twist it. Once it once around is fine. And it's going to look like a sword, uh -huh. but we're actually not gonna use it as a sword. There you go. And here, just doctor it up a little bit. There you go. Ah, okay. okay. Um, that's the first part of it. We're gonna do something else here. Let's see if you can figure out what we're doing. Take the two ends, okay, and just cross and go underneath and just make a square knot. Uh -huh. Okay. That's why we left a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm knotting this. Just knotting it. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm doing this correctly. But we'll see. Okay. And no you know. And as long as it it's tight out, and it's going to hold, you'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Okay. So how long did it take you to learn how to make balloon out? Um, you know, every year I try to add a few items because we'll come, we'll have kids come in that actually know like how to do helicopters and stuff, but uh -huh. I don't know how to do oh, it. Oh, wow. So I always try to make sure that I'm one step ahead. Okay. You're going to okay. fold this in half. Okay? Yes. And then you're going to fold it in half again. Okay. And then you might want to like use your knee and you're going to twist. So it's four, four layers. You're going to twist all four of them. Okay. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to have to like grab and twist. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. Okay. 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 Now go back to your, what looks like a sword. Mm -hmm. Come to the top where your extra is and you're going to squeeze it just to soften it there. Okay, and then you're going to push in from the side. Okay. Oh, it's a flower! A flower. Okay, let's see if I can get this done. Yep, ah. keep pushing. Yep, you got it. Now don't twist it around. Keep oh, it don't twist it? Yeah, okay. it right there. Yay! There you go. So there's that was great! Okay. So what are your, what are your requests for, usually? When well, once they see animals. a flower, every kid's got to have a flower. Every kid's got to have and, a flower. And um, I also do a bracelet once they see the bracelet. Mm -hmm. D lots of dogs, giraffes, dachshunds, that type of thing. But really? Swords. I do hearts. I do a mouse, you know. A so, mouse. Yeah. Okay, what's the hardest? Do I have time for another one? Um, no, you can tell oh, me. I'll just tell you. Yeah. Um, probably the turtle bracelet. Oh, okay. Because you have five bubbles. You have to get the five bubbles and uh -huh. do it. And it's not that hard once you get it. But with smaller hands, the kids have a harder time with it. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, I'll keep this. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, stay with us. After the break, we're going to talk about the basics of miming. At Hopwon University, every student receives an extraordinary education and an inspiring environment with caring people. With rigorous academics and stellar faculty, students enjoy state-of-the-art facilities inside the classroom and across campus. In the last six years, the university has achieved high rankings and has tripled in enrollment and national stature. Our focus is on holistic education, on experiential learning, and on values-based living. That's Hopwon University. Extraordinary. fundamentals of miming. So exactly what do you look for when you're, I guess, first starting out miming? Mm -hmm. What do you first learn? Well, you want to understand that what makes miming or pantomime um, special is that you want to involve as much illusion as possible. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it sort of just becomes silent acting. Um, so it, it's not necessarily special that you're silent, but you use minimal props, you choose them very carefully when you when you actually choose to use a prop, and you want to give the illusion as so something's there that's not. Mm -hmm. And it really takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of practice in front of a mirror, mm -hmm. 
and to make it believable that you have a grapefruit in your hand or a basketball or a bouncy ball mm -hmm. based on how you show the size, the weight, your response to it. And also there's a special connection you can have to draw the audience in to look at your audience, to react to your audience, to show your audience your reaction so that once again, they also are experiencing what you're experiencing. Cool. So illusion is really the main element that makes Miami special. And it's the type of thing that as a troupe, we mm -hmm. critique ourselves constantly to say, you know, it really looked like you were doing something wacky right. and not doing Just what so you, you think you're better. doing. Yes, and it's that get constant feedback time. that really, really helps to give the illusion and make the illusion good. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Titus, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, make sure you tune in next time where we'll uh, be back with another interesting student, faculty, or staff. I'm your host, Lene Frazier, and this has been Panther Profiles.